Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you how you can speed up your editing workflow with these easy to use AI tools instead of on one photo raw. So the first tool we're going to use to speed up our workflow is Brilliance AI. In develop, we're just gonna use Brilliance AI here. We're going to enable that. It's automatically going to analyze the image and it's gonna modify our tone and color settings for us. But the great thing about Brilliance AI is that it not only modifies our tone and color to automatically develop the photograph and just speed up our editing workflow, it also automatically adds in local adjustments into various regions based on the specific photo that you're editing. And so if you need to quickly adjust a specific region, just head down into this section and you can modify these different sliders to fine tune those various regions within your photo. We can bring out the color within our flora. We can add in a bit more contrast and life into our sky. We can also cool down and bring in some contrast into the water region within the image as well. So we've already saved a ton of time by just quickly automatically developing our photo with Brilliance AI. It's created local adjustments so we didn't actually have to mask anything. It automatically created the masks for us. And now we just simply need to modify these sliders to fine tune. So now that we've modified the basic tone and color and we've fine tuned our local adjustments, let's use another AI tool to target the rocks within our foreground and give them a bit of texture and detail. I'm gonna use Super Select AI. I can head over here to my tool well. I can grab Super Select just like that, or I can hit K on my keyboard. Now I just need to hover over the region that I want to adjust. In this case, I want to adjust these rocks so I can also not only hover over a region to select it, but I can also click and drag a box around the region that I want to modify as well. And then we can just add in other areas by just clicking. So I've selected my rocks. I'll just secondary click or right click. And let's go to dynamic contrast. And let's just use surreal. It's gonna be quite intense but we can always go over to our dynamic contrast filter and we can lower the opacity or fine tune any of the sliders within the filter to create the look that we're going for. And just like that, we have some nice punchy texture in those foreground rocks. After that, the world is our oyster as far as styling goes. We've already done the heavy lifting when it comes to editing. So in the effects tab, Let's maybe add in the glow filter. I'll use my favorite preset here, darker. I enjoy what it does to the foliage in the background, the sky, and also the water. From there, I'm gonna add another filter, and I'm gonna add in the vignette filter. Let's just use big softy here, and I'm gonna lower the opacity to about 40. So we're darkening up those corners and just ensuring that the viewer is focused in on this middle area of our scene. So let's check out the original. And then after. And one last thing real quick here before we end the lesson, I see we have a couple of dust spots in here. So what I typically do is I just hit Q on my keyboard to grab my healing brush. And I'll just quickly heal over these dust spots. So that's how you can quickly speed up your editing workflow using Brilliance AI and Super Select AI, along with any of your favorite filters instead of On One Photo Raw 2026. If you enjoyed the lesson, subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks using on One Photo Raw. And don't forget, if you're an On One Plus member, you'll get full step-by-step -step lessons, downloadable practice files, courses, and exclusive monthly challenges to help you master techniques just like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.